Well, I think you'll find this program's in rather marked contrast to the program that's preceded it, because tonight we're going to have a look at punk rock. Mind you, no two people seem to be able to agree exactly what punk rock is, as is evidenced by the fact that someone's been phoning us off and on during the day and trying to convince us that our guests tonight, the Damned, are not a punk rock band, and uh, punk rock fairly clearly means something entirely different to Americans. Anyway, we'll hear a lot of music that may be punk rock and a lot that certainly is. We'll start with the Damned. Off you go and play, boys. All right, Dad. And you, those are the damned and the first number from them on our programme, and it's called So Messed Up. And the members of the band, Dave Vanium on vocals, Brian James on guitar, the wonderful Captain Sensible, he's written that himself, uh, on bass, and Ratscapies on drums. And uh, a band that I used to hang around with in California in the uh, 60s, The Seeds, and they seem to be fairly crucial to the punk movement, and they were a fine band then, actually. I used to enjoy them, and this is their best-known record. <laughs> And those are the seeds with Pushing Too Hard from uh, about 1966, I would estimate. This is something from 1973, which is a lot more vicious, I think. And if this had been a two-hour programme, we'd probably have played you something from the LP Metallic KO, which is uh, not easy to get hold of, but if you do, you'll find uh, this one of the most uncompromising LPs that you've ever heard, I think. Iggy Pop and the Stooges from the 1973 LP Raw Power, and that's your pretty face is going to hell. And people would argue, I think, whether Eddie and the Hot Rods are actually uh, a punk rock band. The fact that they've achieved some sort of success would probably disqualify them in the eyes of several people, but they're on the front of the current issue of sniffing glue, and that's enough for me. <laughs> Eddie and the Hot Rods, Horseplay, Weary of the Schmaltz and the Damned again. Damned, and that's called Neat, Neat, Neat. And uh, we'll have a look at some of the New York music now. This is Richard Hell from an EP which is available in a limited edition on the Stiff label, not surprisingly, uh, in Britain. And Richard Hell previously with Television and the Heartbreakers and now with his band Voidoids. This is I Belong to the Blank Generation. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mm. And that's Richard Hell, who, as I said, was uh, previously of television, and this is the only record available at the moment of television, although they've been signed to one of the big American labels. <laughs> Part one of Little Johnny Jewel by television, and I've already played you several tracks from the double LP live at CBGB on previous programmes. CBGBs, I mean, and uh, most of it actually, frankly, a bit dull, but uh, the tough darts aren't too bad at all, and this is one of the numbers that they contribute to the LP. It's called Slash. Those are the Tough Dance, live at CBGB's, and that's called Slash. And the rival club in New York, Max's Kansas City, also has an LP out, which is a lot more interesting. Perubu from the LP Max's Kansas City, and uh, it's always good, I think, when you find papers at both ends of the uh, newspaper spectrum violently opposed to any form of music. They used to do it in the days of the Rolling Stones and the Who, and they used to do it in the days of Elvis Presley and Bill Haley as well. And I'm not saying that these sort of bands are uh, the new Who's and Rolling Stones and Presley's and Bill Haley's, but I'm very glad that they're there because they bring a, an injection of energy and crudity into a rock scene that's been painfully smug and complacent during the past few years, I think, and I think this is a great single. Are we really 65 in the charts? The Damned, and that's New Rose, which is, the, as you know, their debut and current single, and uh, that's uh, their version that they recorded for us, a session produced by Jeff Griffin, incidentally, who seems to have caught the spirit of it fairly well. And uh, clearly the best-known band, in the, in, I should think, in the country at the moment must be the Sex Pistols, and uh, their television appearance, uh, I think, was, since subsequently was... Uh, treated with a great deal of quite remarkable hypocrisy and overreaction, and uh, people don't seem to be playing their single very much, which is a great pity, because it's a good stomper. <laughs> And those are the Sex Pistols and their single, that's uh, Anarchy in the UK. And going back to Max's Kansas City and the LP and the best band on it, I think, are The Fast. <laughs> great single, you know. Those are the fast from the LP Max's Kansas City. Boys Will Be Boys, the strong overtones of uh, The Who, and also I think of the Easy Beats Friday on my mind, actually. And while we're in New York... <laughs> Thank you. 
A rare example there of rock whistling. You don't hear that every day. Those are the New York Dolls from 1973 and uh, Personality Crisis. Not one of my own personal favourites, I must concede, but considered highly influential by some authorities. This is Peel's Big 45 and it fits neatly into the programme from Australia. These are the Saints and uh, I think one of the best singles of the year there. It's called I'm Stranded. <laughs> Saints, and that's stranded, and uh, or I'm stranded to be exactly accurate. And uh, I'm told I've been telling you all week actually that that record's now in the shops, and I've been advised today that it isn't actually yet, but it will be at the beginning of next week. And it's Peel's Big Forty Five, no matter what. And this is the last from the Damned. <laughs> That's it. Those are the damned and 58 seconds of Stab Your Back and the last number from them on tonight's programme. And uh, I'm not entirely sure, actually, whether this next record's relevant, but it's uh, a favourite of mine and it is typical of the kind of uh, garage rock bands that were making records in the mid-60s and uh, which are held by some, once again, to have been in some way influential in the formation of what we now call punk rock. A bit convoluted, isn't it? Anyway, when it's by the shadows of night and it's the uh, magnificent light bulb blues. <laughs> What a great record that is. The Shadows of Night and uh, Light Bulb Blues. And the first time I played a record on the radio by the Ramones, I got a fair number of abusive letters and cards about it. Now people seem to regard them as being pretty tame. Well, at the age of 37 and weighing just a little bit over 13 uh, stone, all right, 13 and a half stone then, if you insist, I'm not about to dress up as a punk or change my hairstyle or anything, unlike one or two media people who seem to be trying to affect the lifestyle and the appearance of punkdom. But uh, I'm very grateful to the bands and the people who make the music, or most of them anyway, for the excitement and heated debate and general bewilderment they've brought back to the rock scene. And it's been long missed and sorely missed, I think. Anyway, that's the end of tonight's programme, and our thanks to the damned for their session. Uh, what have we got for you tomorrow? Well, Kid Jensen at 10 o'clock from 10 till mid, uh, midday, and they said 10 till midnight, which will be a long programme. Tomorrow he's going to be playing the very best of contemporary music, it says here, and I do know that he'll be playing quite a few tracks from the new triple LP of Wings Live over America. <laughs> And then speaking of America, from 12 to 1.30, it's Paul Gambaccini with the best-selling pop and soul records from the American charts, plus a rundown of the US Top 30. Uh, from 1.30 to 2.30, Linda Ronstadt's Top 12, which is introduced by Brian Matthew, as always. 2.30 to 5.30, it's Alan Freeman, and I think this week they may possibly run our trail, I don't know. Wilson seems to be a little frightened of them these days, and he is going to be playing side one of the new Genesis album, Wind and Wuthering. 5.30 to 6.30, it's rock and roll, introduced by Stuart Coleman and this week's studio guests, the Pirates, and a highly praised session that, well worth listening to. And then, as if this were not enough, 6.30 to 7.30, Alan Brack introduces Loudon Wainwright III in concerts. Another great Saturday. Have a good weekend.